Y'all know nothing about this. You need to pay attention. Sit back and relax. It's time for Goodall's Country Kitchen. All right. So here at Arby's, Shelbyville Road, here in Middletown in Louisville. And I've already had two people reach out to me today, want me to do the Diablo Dare sandwich at Arby's, which you see here. I got a chicken. They also have brisket, so I got both. And uh, it's got all kinds of uh, like Carolina Reaper, habanero, jalapeno, all this stuff. And they say it's so hot that they give you a free shake with each sandwich, which I'm so confident I've already given uh, my best friend here and colleague, Sean Davis, gave him my milkshakes in confidence that I'm not going to need them. Because I know y'all seen my challenges before. You know I don't play around. Nothing's too hot for me. I can't handle. This is actually probably just hot enough for me that it'll just taste good. You know, I'm going to keep it real. I'm not like all these other people. Get on YouTube, try to punk out for views and like jump around. Oh, I can't take no it. No, no, I'm not like that. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this uh, chicken Diablo sandwich. Oh, set this down. Let me see. Get in here. You see, I'll pull it apart. Oh, it okay. That pretty. comes with some kind of pepper yeah. cheese. Oh, that's pretty. Some kind of, what was that bun they were talking about? Uh, what was on it? Was it Chipotle bun? Okay. I don't remember, but they were talking about all this stuff, and the sauce is what's the kicker. You see all that pepper they have there on the sauce? And uh, most of the heat, I think, is in the sauce itself. So, don't do it. Here we go. Don't do it. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Damn, eat the bit. Mm. The bread is. Mm. Want some dough? You don't want I told none? you, I ain't no punk. Oh, okay. Don't worry. Right. I'm good. I am. I'm a punk. <laughs> All right. As I said, Too very hot. tasty. Most of the time you do something on a challenge, they just make it so it's so hot you can't eat it and it's not even made to taste good. I'm not big on fast food, but this is actually tasty. Mmm. I know. No, oh, okay. I'm good. The nose is running though. <laughs> <laughs> Fight it. No punk. Mm -hmm. mm. Coming out of the box. Huh. I'll tell you what. It is pretty good. I might come here and get one of these again. Just because it tastes good. Oh, that's good. One, one scale one to ten, how hot is? I'm not. I'm. I'm probably going to disappoint a lot of people on here. But for a hot challenge, for me it would be a ten because I'm for, not too much for a hot heat food. challenge item. I'm going to give this a three. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Arby's. Oh, but. Oh. It's really not that hot. A three. Oh. What the? Oh, well. I'm going to give this milkshake a 10. It is delicious. <laughs> All right. I'm going to finish that chicken, by the way. And then we challenge you to try one sandwich. Uh oh. But I want to try the brisket too. Just to show you ain't no punk. I'm eating two challenge sandwiches today. Don't do it. Mm. Oh my goodness. Look at the juice run out. Of All right. Curly fries. That's good. Brisket. That's a quality sandwich too, believe it or not. Everybody thinks that Arby's is just like, you know, just regular fast food roast beef. This actually does have the texture and taste of brisket. 
seems like once again, you have done it. They can't hold me. Can't hold him. <laughs> can't hold him. I would say of any of the challenges, this is probably the least hot. The only one thing I've ever had before was a challenge that was not even as hot as this. I didn't even do a video on it. It was so weak. It was the Dunkin' Donut Pepper Donuts, but Grim Reaper, uh, Carolina Reaper hey, hey, hey. Donuts. Hey, if you're talking about the, you know, those Dunkin' were, Donuts those were, now. Those were so mild. You're going to upset a lot of police seven officers. Year, seven-year-old donuts. <laughs> <laughs> my seven-year-old daughters ate them, and one of them didn't even realize it wasn't spicy. Hey, you're going to get a speeding ticket. Keep on. <laughs> police officers support us. Don't be messing with them, Mike. And you see, okay. they have that fresh cut jalapeno on there, and that sauce has that uh, Carolina Reaper dust in it. Okay. You know you look over. Is that fans over? Somewhere? Get one of these challenge sandwiches. <laughs> Say it again. Well, very tasty. <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and drag this out, but I can guarantee you, promise you, will not drink his milkshake. I'll tell you what. That's left. Let's go ahead and cut away, and then we'll uh, be back in a minute after I go ahead and kill the rest of these sandwiches, and then he can testify that I did not drink any of his milkshake. We'll be right back. All right, a couple corrections. Anything else? I said earlier it was Carolina Reaper pepper. It's actually uh, ghost pepper, not Carolina. And the bun is a red chipotle bun. Very tasty. This is my last bite. <laughs> Can't believe it. He ate the whole thing. All right. <laughs> Just to show, it did make my nose run. I went to blow my nose. <laughs> so there was some heat to it. But like I said, piece of cake. I'm not punking out for views on YouTube. I'm keeping it totally real. Totally. Just like my channel, if you look up, I keep everything honest and real. I'm not going to sit out here and do cartwheels, hoping for more subscribers and everything. But by the way, do hit that subscribe button and notification bell if you appreciate my mission here. Especially all you uh, alumni from Eastern. Appreciate that. I want to thank my camera guy and director, Adrian Graham, yes, colleague and friend, Davis, Coach Davis, the one and only. All right. That's a wrap, and y'all don't know nothing about this Arby's Chipotle Challenge. Now you know the facts of why I'm on a mission. You're always welcome back to Goodall's Country Kitchen.